Hey yo! What is up, guys? My name is Coast Child Dogs the Bob, Bob Bill for Theme Park News. And welcome to a Theme Park News update from Flamingo Land Resort in Malton, North Yorkshire. Now, this update is all about topping off the lift hill on their 10 inversion roller coaster opening at the park in 2020. Hopefully I'll try and be down there for the opening day, but I'm going to talk about that a little bit more and my thoughts on what it's going to be like when it's open and what's been going on and things like that. So stay tuned for all of that. Make sure you also stay tuned by liking, commenting, subscribing and clicking that notification bell so you never miss any of our YouTube updates. And now let's zoom into the video. I hope you guys are doing it all at home. Zooming into the video. If you're doing that, please send it to me on Instagram. The Instagram link is in the description down below. If you're copying my intro and you want to try and impersonate my intro, please send some down below and I'll share them. It'd be a right laugh. If anyone's so if anyone's getting into the gr groove of the intro, if anyone's sort of getting into the intro like the hey oh and the zoom and into the video, so <laughs> make sure you send the video to go link down below. Private message me, it'll be fun. Um, but let, it'll be good for the highlights end of the year. But let's get started now with this news update on the 10 looping roller coaster coming to Flamingo Land in 2020. So you can see on your screen now, Fanda Bidozzi. The lift hill has been topped off. Yes, we love the look of the lift hill. Uh, you can see from that image, courtesy Flamingo Land. Big shout out to Flamingo Land if you are watching this video. I know you like the updates. Please keep liking them. Um, you can see by that image on your screen there, just look at that. The red track, the dark red track with the yellow supports. Kind of looks like Britain's answer to Intimidator 305. Uh, <laughs> except it's a darker red on the track colours. But look at that. Just look at that. Uh, now it did still, now I believe the colour scheme, the grey and the black colour scheme that was originally on the plans, or the silver and black, or the silver and grey, whatever it was. Um, I believe I can't really see that on the documents anymore, so I'm guessing that those colour schemes have been removed. Which hints to me they're going to use that dark red track and yellow colour scheme with the name and theme. Now we don't know what that is yet, but um, it should be sure to see what it is going to be like. Um, and obviously you can see in the image there already, you can see the, uh, the station. You can start to see now where that coast is going to come out of. There's no like, it's not like any other coaster, like Velocity for example, where it's like a slight turn off or uh, like a slight sort of S bend or anything like that into the lift hill. It's just straight into the lift hill uh, and it looks brilliant, doesn't it? You can see Velocity to the right, you can see a white crane uh, to the left and it definitely looks like it's going to be a fantastic uh, looking coaster. So I'm really excited about this project. I think it's going to be brilliant. Uh, I don't know what you guys think, but I'm really excited for it anyway. Um, you know, I think that this is going to be one of the biggest additions to the UK theme parks uh, throughout this se the next season, uh, along with Tornado Springs, World of David Williams, uh, the Minilog Flume and Toadies reroute at Chessington, you know, there's a lot of things going on in the UK next year and I think that this coast is going to be right up there with the top of the list uh, with the best in the UK next year, so I'm super excited about this project, I hope you guys are really excited about this project as well Big shout out to the team at Flamingo, they're doing a fantastic job teasing this all the way through the winter season. Uh, but thank you very much guys for watching this theme park news update. Stay tuned later today for an update from Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park. Later on this week we've also got updates from parks like Parksborough Province. Uh, we've also got uh, Close But Not Forgotten updates planned. We've got an episode from Bob at F Talon, which hopefully, fingers crossed, should be up this weekend. So that's a good Close But Not Forgotten update to look forward to this weekend. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching this theme park news update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Child, Killer in the Coastal Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day.